day is prefixed. Are we born fortunate? Are we born unfortunate? Are we lucky? Are we unlucky? These are the questions that always people have in their mind and they also ask. In last 27 years I have found that this question people could easily find a solution but they don't try to do it. By asking me or asking somebody you will never get a proper answer. But however I will throw enough light on that so that you know how to think yourself about these type of questions. In the beginning of civilization there was no difference between man and the animal. Both were living together. And the surprise factor is animal was the king and the man was subordinate. This animal controlling the entire livelihoods of all the people was also existing. Sometimes the human who were along with that animals at that time used to eat the leftover food of animals because he cannot hunt for himself in compared to the stronger animals. So he used to safeguard his own life. He used to hide for some time till that whole process of hunting is over by the bigger animals like lion or leopard or tiger and whatever is left over he used to eat and satisfy himself and sometimes he used to sleep without food also. That was in the beginning. In the beginning the man had no family. Nothing, nothing. He just was any other struggling animal. Fearing, looking to safeguard himself. And whenever he was hunger, he used to eat something, whatever available. As good as a beast life he used to lead. Sleeping wherever he can secure himself to sleep. If he sleeps on the tree, sometimes snakes are also coming. Different issues he used to face as any animals would have been facing with the fellow fellow animals. So the fellow citizens of the forest were together. Time has changed everything. Because God is very kind. Though humans cannot fly like a bird, swim like an alligator, run like a leopard, nor climb a tree like a monkey. Nor does the human have the eyesight like an eagle, which can approximately see penetratingly to 8 kilometers. Neither they have the strength and the power, as lion has it in his own claws. When I went to uh, one uh, African safari, when I was in a foreign tour, there in African safari, I went to the lion's uh, arena. There, the master has told me, who was taking care of the lions, that a three years cub, if it uses his claw properly and hits any human being, the weight of the stroke will be not less than three ton. So that is the power wielded by Tigers, lions or any other stronger animal. And humans were nowhere near them. But God is very kind. God is very kind. And it has given human being the ability to think. And, it, and the human was literally as if he was waiting to find his way out and separate himself from the animal. So the question that we have in our mind, why I have connected this story with early man. Are we as fortunate? Are our destinies are fixed? If supposing that human being who were earlier staying with the animals thought his destiny is fixed, then we would have been all staying in forest today. Perhaps we would have not even existed today. But it was not to be that. The man has one day discovered fire. And that discovery of fire gave him the strength. And all animals, immaterial, the bigger size of the animal to the smaller one, all feared fire. That was the beginning of human being fixing his own destiny.
So there was nothing called prefix there. Yes, he was in an unfortunate situation. There was no bed, no proper food, no shelter, no cloth to wear, no family. Nothing is there. He and his fellow animals are same. Once he discovered fire, he saw the fear in everybody's eyes. And once he started understanding that they are fearing the fire and his discoveries continued. That fire helped him to understand how to cook the food. Then he understood how to plant the seeds. Then he created some harvesting for himself. Cooking, harvesting, all this slowly started bringing in all humans together in one place. The concept of family, though heretic, though without a, a rules and regulation, yet a concept started. And you know that the, the development is from a small village. It went on to develop into a big village. Then a big town, big city, what not. All the metro cities of the world today and ultimately we have continents where human civilization dominates. So if destiny were fixed, the human would have been still animal. Nothing else you require to prove it that destiny is not fixed. There is no nothing called unfortunate and nothing called fortunate. If you consider the first human being were in an unfortunate state of affair, no. So see the difference between animal and the human. Animals adjust to the environment they are made to stay. But whereas humans create their own habitats. See, they never compromised on what they need. Today, human being has changed the weather in his home. Outside, a hot sun in the afternoon and he sleeps happily in air-conditioned bedroom. What does it say? That he innovated, he discovered, he created things to suit his comforts. But animals could not. Though they enjoyed the power, muscle power for some time and dominated the human, but later they have to only stay as a fearing candidates. So where is the fixation of destiny? In fact, when two humans today compare each other, yes, they are trying to fight with each other again to you know, be better than the other. The human race is competing with itself. Animals are still not competing. They are still there. Why? Because they want their food and their possible rest time. They wanted to go and take rest. That's it. They have fear to protect themselves. They have hunger. But humans, they have gone beyond it. And I can tell you, humans have gone to such an extent that they have started fixing their own destinations. They started creating their own destiny. Swami Vivekan very rightly says that you are the master of your destiny. Early human to today when we compare, it is human who mastered his destiny and he came up to this situation. He shaped his life as a, a pottery maker, you know, who makes the pots from the mud. He shapes different, different uh, shape. Mud is same, but the shape is different. We have different human beings. With different intellectual abilities. Different taste in their tongue. We eat processed food. We eat cooked food. Great things have been done by human beings. If they believed they were prefixed into everything, then they would have done nothing. They try to discover the entire formation of the whole universe. Still the work is going on. We, the Chanda Mama Rava, the Chanda Mama Aega, you know, that kind of thing, you know, songs we used to listen while we are small babies, kids. Our moms used to give food to us. But today the Chanda Mama is controlled by human beings. We go there and come back. We have mastered that art. And, and uh, the scientific innovations, they are telling that very soon they will have a establishment there. That's not far away. We have gone to the Mars. We are already uh, orbiting in the space. If it is prefixed, nothing would have been happened. 
So in your personal life also, when you have that question comes to each one of you, that imperfection or anything that is shortage, that gives you opportunity to go towards abundance. Actually, every obstacle is an opportunity. None other than our Prime Minister tells, whenever you see a problem coming in front of you, you understand that this problem will give you opportunity to solve it. Solve it. It has come because it wants a solution now. The time has come for solving it. One day we all used to go to the bank and collect our money. Now the currency is missing. We are transferring digitally our entire money. If you look at the concept of human lifestyle today, we don't have any more currency. We had a barter system thousands of years back when we were literally exchanging, you give me rice, I will give you a tomato. You give me mutton, I will give you egg. Now you are doing a digital transfer. All my friends who are sitting in USA, every day morning they send me good messages. But though there is a evening time and hours, so it takes almost 20 hours to travel. But the message is coming in less than a fraction of a second. Digital era, internet, all this evolutionary process has been done by human beings only. So if he was transfixed on what he was given in the early birth as an early man, then nothing would have changed. He has the capacity. Today he constructs buildings yeah, of 100 to 200 or even 300 uh, what do you call story. He constructs big towers. Whatever the human mind conceives, it achieves. It is a fantastic thing that human brain has got a burning desire to make his life and his fellow citizens' life comfortable. One side we are struggling with a pandemic of COVID-19. The other side, the research and development is done by human beings, group of human beings world over. They are trying to find a vaccine. We were afraid of typhoid once. We were afraid of malaria once. We were afraid of smallpox once. Today, all those diseases are gone. It's under the human control. I'm not going to tell you that humans will take over from the God. It's not possible. Because we are yet to discover where the life disappears. Scientifically, we are telling the life is gone. But we are yet to discover kaha gaya. Dunia se jane wale jane chale jate hai kaha. Jane hai wo kon nagariya. Jaake fir kabhi aate hai. Death is same. World over. Whether it is in United States or it is in France or Italy or it is in India or in Bangladesh or in any other country. Alright. You may have the process difference of how you are criminating it. But one fact remains. All humans have to die. Now this is the next discovery perhaps the man will make that not to die. Our Shastras and our Purana says Amaratva can be achieved. There are two ways of Amaratva. One by you know your performance that leaves long. Like the recent uh, uh, you know uh, demise of uh, the great uh, playback singer S.P. Balasubram. Gana Gandharva. He will be living for long long times to come. Nalindranath became Vivekananda after 150 years also he is still alive. The great soul never died. Amaratva they achieved. But possibly there will be Amaratva which Sagar Mantra we received Amritam. Somebody will research and find an Amritam that humans will not die. And their body will not age. It will always remain young. Human life is never transfixed. Because we have intellectual ability. And that ability will take us far, far away from what we imagine. The ordinary man like Abdul Kalamji became the father of intercontinental ballistic missiles. Sitting here, right in India, we can fire 10,000 kilometers away with our missiles. Every country is developing it. America developed, Russia developed, various countries have developed these weapons, India also have developed. We can go right under the sea. We can go faster than the air. 
with supersonic jets, rockets. Things have changed a lot. Maybe the evolutionary process was far, far longer. We may not understand it, but it is one thing, it gives a very clear message that there is nothing static. Man is not to surrender. He is always going to create his own world. I just really like it. Some of those poetries or the poems written by great poets. He says about, is it prefixed or not? For that question, this poem is very suitable. Manjil unko milti hai. The poet says, Manjil unko milti hai, jinke sapno mein jaan hoti hai. Wah. Person who wants to achieve is reach his destination. He has a strength in his dream. Unke sapno mein jaan hoti hai. Sirf pankh se kuch nahi hota. Hausle se unar. Just by having a feather, you cannot fly. Your imaginations, your valor, they all needed to make you fly. That's why we always say, sky is the limit for the man. So I repeat this poem again. Manjil unko milti hai, jinke sapno mein jaan hoti hai. Sirf pank se kuch nahi hota. हौसले चाहिए उड़ान होते हौसलों से उड़ान होती है हौसलों से उड़ान होती है सी हाउ फैंटास्टिक इट इज सो व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू इज अल्टीमेटली मैनस कैपेबिलिटीज आर बिहाइंड इमेजिनेशन देयर इज नो ट्रांसफिक्स थिंग्स ऑल साइंटिफिक इनोवेशंस एंड डिस्कवरीज दैट हैव बीन डन इन दिस वर्ल्ड दे आर नॉट डन जस्ट लाइक दैट सामने हो मंजिल तो रास्ता न मोड़ना सामने हो मंजिल तो रास्ता ना मोड़ना जो मन में हो ख्वाब उसको कभी न तोड़ना हर कदम पे मिलेगी कामयाबी तुझे बस सितारे छूने के लिए जमीन से जुड़ा रहना दिस इज एटीट्यूड वी हैव टू डेवलप स्टैंड टफ ऑन योर स्टैंड व्हाट यू हैव टेकन एंड मूव फॉरवर्ड यू डेफिनेटली रीच योर डेस्टिनेशन Thank you.